ABCs. What do you need to get started sketchnoting? The basics are three things. One, paper, the right pens, and erasers. So to start from the top, we're going to start talking about the paper. One of the nice things about paper is there's so many kinds. So you can get exactly what you want if you know what that is. So when you're going out looking for paper, look for a very smooth surface. Because the, the surface of the paper will give away how porous it is. So if it's very smooth, then it's going to be crisp and silky. So what you're looking for is when you put a dot of ink on the page, how far does it spread? That's called dot gain. You want it to not spread very far because when it does spread, it makes your line look murky. It, it loses its crispness. It looks kind of smeared. So you want to watch out for dot gain. You want low to none for that. And then also, how is the paper bound together? I find that using a spiral notebook is the easiest because I can lay it flat. So I look for one that's about medium size that I can take with me in my backpack or what I'm carrying. It doesn't need to be huge. And then I use a bookmark because I've done a lot of these. And then I can lay my page perfectly flat. Also notice that I have a tendency to take out my pages too. Because if I want to take a picture of it or I want to give that to the presenter as a gift, I'll want to be able to take it out of my notebook. So it needs to be spiral bound and perforated, preferably. So spiral bound is one of my favorites. Some people like even smaller notebooks, like uh, the little tiny, almost hand size pages, because you want to keep your ideas very much to the point and not put too much on the page. And you're not as tempted if the page is very small. And then the last part is bonus if it's perforated. Then you can take it out, take a picture of it, things like that. So those are things to look for. Also, uh, I always like to buy my sketchbooks in two or three when I find the right kind because sometimes it's hard to find. I would look at um, even fabric stores or craft stores as well as office supply stores. Uh, those are great places to find notebooks. Oh, and bookstores even. Next, pens. These are very important because this is what everybody's been waiting for. What are you going to draw on your page? And I prefer to write all the words in a dark color with permanent ink, um, so for the highest legib legibility, as well as a fine point, because then I can write clear and small at the same time. So here, you want to have a permanent, fine point. And this is for the bulk of your writing. And uh, so that's all your words and the details. Okay. So how do you get the beautiful color into your sketch notes? Um, there are a million bajillion colors and the permanent marker. So if you're doing fine color or you're uh, more artistic and you have more lines, then using a colored Sharpie will work. However, I like that kind of watercolor effect you can get when you end up with a liquid ink uh, highlighter. Now, these are kind of fun because there's two colors, one on each end, two caps, so you can use two different colors in your sketch note. I like to limit myself to like two colors a sketch note. It keeps it tidy, it's not so distracting. Other times you want a riot of colors uh, to really uh, create a festive kind of sketch note. Uh, the good news is these people know which two colors to put together that look good together. I keep a purple and a pink and a green and a yellow. I have a yellow and an orange and I have a, a blue and a yellow. So all those look great together and there's enough contrast. So you add color with highlighters. Now, another trick is highlighters, being liquid, are going to be damp. 
and can smudge. So you want to watch out for that and do top down color uh, so that you don't smudge. Otherwise, you'll be wearing all the beautiful colors when you're done. Next, we've done paper, pens, and now what about erasers? This is permanent ink. When are you going to have anything to erase? Well, guess what? Sometimes you're going to need a mechanical pencil to draw guides. So you draw things that you're going to erase out with the pencil. And with your pencil, you'll also want a transparent ruler. And with sketch noting, it's very organic, so your lines aren't going to be parallel to the edge of your paper often. Sometimes it will be if you are one of those people that whenever you write, you end up going uphill or downhill. <laughs> so you can do some guides for yourself to help keep things square as you're going. So, erasers. Use it with a pencil. Use a ruler. And when do you erase the lines? Erase after you're done. Now, a lot of times I will be done with all the words with the permanent fine point. And when that's all dry, there's no smudging going on, then I go ahead and erase all my little guidelines, any pencil marks, and uh, then I do my highlighter. Because the highlighter may smudge, especially if you're going a mile a minute and you have a check to see if things are dry. So put your guides in, but erase only after you know everything is dry. So let's go over this. We've got three things, the right paper, the right pens, and an eraser. And then keep them all in a pencil case so you can take them along with you, along with your spiral bound notebook, and you'll be ready to go at any time.